I'm back at that, remember that bathroom video? <laughs> the bathroom video, doesn't sound good. That video I made of me shooting pigeons out of the bathroom. I'm back there, I used my 25 Bobcat then, I have my new 25 Impact now. I'm back here in the, in the dark, dismal attic because wind is, is howling out there and it's uh, it's uncomfortable even to sit in front of the window. I didn't dress accordingly. Um, the sweatshirt and pants, I was planning on staying warmer than, than it is in that room. The wind's about 15 to 20 today, pretty strong. I'm hoping I got the wind right. I hate missing right away because those are like the guaranteed kill shots. So I think I'm gonna hold a dot. If I know me, that's not enough. I'm always holding a little less than I should. I'm always being more conservative. But that's where I'm gonna hold my first shots. One dot. All right, let's go see what happens. Ow, mother of goodness. Oh, oh, oh sass manila. Oh, that's gonna make the eyes water. Okay. Ah. Oh. All right, uh, so I just cranked myself. Pretty good, right on that. <laughs> Ow! All right, as I was saying, let's go. <laughs> uh, Ted. Uh, <laughs> right past them. Yeah, I should have held dot and a half. <coughs> Dang it. I should know better. I think I gotta start relying more on my math. Oh, I knew. 15 to 20 mile an hour wind. I bought this guy with his head all perked up. Now these next two shots were both wing shots. Now, obviously it's not the ideal shot, but I'll tell you what, these 34 grain JSBs, they get any piece of the bird above, say, the abdomen, and it comes down. It comes down every single time. Obviously, I had to go around the silo and, and ring both these guys, but at least nothing's flying off and dying somewhere else. Uh, that wind here was pretty dang nasty. And then I have really nothing out there to gauge. There's no plant life out there. It's December in Wisconsin. So I have to just know it. Um, know that it's out there even though I can't see it. And that's a hard thing to do. And that's why I now have a wind meter. I didn't bring it with me today. I failed to. Uh, mostly because I was just in a hurry to get my butt out of the house. But I'll be bringing it out in future videos. And this thing is beyond cool with the geek factor. Um, it not only shows you like left and right, it could show you up and down, down drafts and up drafts. When the wind is behind you, it causes your pellet to lift. When it's in front of you, it causes it to drop. It shows all that. And if I can set that up, you know, at, uh, halfway between me and the target, even if it's on the ground, it'll do a lot of good um, to bolster my confidence in the shot and also let me know if I get a, a shift or something. And I got feathers. This feather is actually <laughs> blowing in the window. Where did the thing go? Oh, show. here it is. Look at this. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen anything for a while now, and <laughs> and my camera is tilted as well. <laughs> my little mini tripod is sagged out. Um, so let's pack this up, head over to the farm, and see if we can knock down a couple of them squirrels for grandma. Whoa! No worries, no worries. That was just the popcorn container. <laughs> okay. To the farm! Prepare ship for light speed. No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> Are we stopped? We're stopped, sir. Good. <laughs> There's already one on there right now, so let's go ahead and take care of him before we get to anything else.
Okay, you may not know this, but the YouTube police have a real soft spot for little furry things, and that is why I let the video play at normal speed when the pellet impacted him. But YouTube, if you're watching this, please, please realize I am not trying to ruffle feathers here. I'm meeting you halfway, you stupid hippies. This is of genuine interest to me, scientific interest. Don't take me down. Please don't take me down. But there's something I wanted you guys to look at. It's the shot from the very beginning of this video. So I can't show you the whole slow motion headshot, but I can show you a few frames, I think, and get away with it. And that's all I really need. I just want to show you a few frames here. And the question is, what is this? Okay, that shot, um... Uh, it was one I wouldn't have taken with a with a 1.7 or probably even a 2.2. It was a head-on shot, but I knew with a 55 foot-pound 25 caliber, uh, there'd be no issue at all. And there wasn't. It hit him right about here and out the back of his brain. I'm sure, sure he never had any idea what happened. But right as I hit him, I saw his buddy take off. He was on the on the ground. He headed up in that pine tree right there. So let's go around uh, the other side of the house and see if we can get an angle on him. <laughs> Come on. Man, it started off a lousy, lousy day and that cloud's just, they burned right off. It's freaking gorgeous out here now. He's gotta be up there. This sun is gonna give him away. He doesn't have a chance today. They tore down their uh, basswood trees and the big silver maple. So they're kind of limited now as to where they can perch and there he is. All right, I'm gonna set you down. And I am way more solid here than that last place. I do, however, need more elevation. Oh, that. That. We got him. <laughs> Straight down. That's two, uh, no one squirrels. That's gonna be it for a little while out here. They get jumpy when they see a few of their buddies get blasted. So, we'll circle back around to the pigeons again and see what they're up to. By the way, when you're the, uh, the head honcho squirrel, you let the other ones know it. How? Check out the beans on this guy. <laughs> And since being out here last time, that wind has completely shut off. So my dot and a half, whatever I was holding before, gone. This is going to be fun. Let's get back up in the crow's nest. Oh, by the way, if this is the first video of mine you've seen, or if you didn't see the previous one where I was at this residence, there's a former farmhouse that is now used as practice for the local fire department. Um, the place has been lit on fire and put out several times. And I spoke about this um, briefly on that previous uh, video I made with the, with the bobcat shooting pigeons out of the bathroom window. So if you missed that, I'll put a link down in the video description and, and you can watch that. Basically just doing the same thing I'm doing right now and having a good time <laughs> in an old burned down farmhouse uh, shooting pigeons out of the bathroom. <laughs> Ow, oh. My goat and himmel. Ah, what is that? Holy sugar. Remember how I said there was a broken glass? Ah, oh, mama. Get that out of there. Ah, there it is. Okay, I'm all right. Thanks for your concern.
All right, this is the last bird of the day, and I have to interrupt the spacey sound effects here. The question is, how on earth did this bird not go down? And once again, I got to call on this old picture of a pigeon's internal skeleton. I guess that's the only kind of skeleton there is. So this pellet just passed right through this area, plucked a few feathers off the neck, pigeon flies away, no worse for wear. Like I said, it's what I like about this gun, all or nothing. Okay, things have gone pretty quiet here again. So, uh, let's go back to the farm. <laughs> but first, let's go gather up those birds. Ooh, look at that. Looks like the kitty's got at least one without my help. As I got back to the farm, the sun was setting, and that wind right back to where it was this morning. Holy cow! Can you even hear me? I doubt it. It's about 30, 35 miles an hour. Woo! Well, I hung out for a bit, talked to Grandma, um, looked out the window for an hour or so. Nothing else came around. Uh, these squirrelios, you, you plug a couple of them and <laughs> they get really shy for the rest of the day. I got four birdies, two squirrels. I'll take the back and the legs off the squirrels. Take the breasts off the birdies. Uh, probably just toss down a crock pot and add a can of cream mushroom soup and salt and pepper. And I guess that's it. Thanks for coming along with me today, guys. And I'll see you at the next video. And I thought we were going to be done for the day, but check it out.